And I want to ask you about uh, The Boxer. Yeah. Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Trouble Water was the first album I ever bought. Wow. Two pounds seventeen pence from W. H. Smith in the Bull Ring in Birmingham. So you you know you remember these things. Yeah. But it wasn't really, and I feel stupid now. But listening to your version, it's the first time I. There's no chorus. No. Nope. It's all. I mean, the Lila Live. Does that count as a chorus? I suppose it does. And your choir sing Lila Live. But it's all story. Yeah, I love stories to music. I've always loved stories to music ever since I was first introduced to Peter and the Wolf Prokofiev by my dad. And so when he reads telling a story, which is why I love Bowie so much, because he just tells these great stories to music. And Paul Simon, great writer. I mean, I love Simon Delfonco as well. And The Boxer, you're absolutely right. It doesn't have your normal verse, chorus, bridge, verse. It doesn't have any of that. It just, he goes wherever he feels the story should take him next. And if you take the melody, it's really, it, it's quite interesting. The melody, the way that he, he, he originally wrote it, obviously, to go along with the lyrics, it tells the story musically. You know, it doesn't sound like, oh, what's that bit doing there? Or why is that bit doing there? It does flow right the way through. And uh, I, was, I was pleased how that worked. It was one of the ones that, that I was a, a little unsure of that made the, the shortlist, but I was very pleased I did it. Um, and there are other uh, songs which people will jump on and recognise the melodies uh, immediately. If you're going to do Beatles songs, is it, is it, is it thinking, where, where on earth? I mean, so many great melodies yeah. to choose from. Why did you alight on Strawberry Fields? Strawberry Fields, because it's so simple. Uh, the great thing that Lennon and McCartney did was they wrote such simple songs. When you analyse them and take them back to the bare basics, they're just absolutely so brilliant. Um, but, and Strawberry Fields is one of those pieces, it doesn't actually get played that often, but it is so clever how it's, it's put together. Very simple. It has got a sort of a middle eight as against a chorus, and it, it, it's, I suppose, musically, it does what it says on the tin, if you know what I mean. And I, I just thought it was a great piece and would work so well for piano because of its simplicity. And while my guitar gently weeps... Um, that which opens the album. Which opens the album, which... Uh, I suppose I should change the title to why my piano gently weeps. But I, I spent a very, very pleasant and interesting four hours with George Harrison. Uh, in France at Cannes. When the big media festival was on, we were both down there and we had to go for a photo shoot on the, on the beach at, at Cannes. And uh, after we, we'd done the photo shoot, we just started walking down there. We, and we walked for about two hours and walked, came back the other way. Uh, it's the first time I'd ever met him and the last time I ever, and the only time I ever met him. But what an interesting man. And we, we talked all things music and how spiritually... Um, he thought when he was writing music and, and playing music. And there's no doubt about it that well, well, my guitar gently weeps. It is very much, you can, you can hear George's musical brain wearing how he did it. And I, I always loved that piece. I've, I've always liked George's writing because I always felt that he climbed into his music and he was actually part of it. It wasn't something that he was on the outside just, just writing. So I wanted to do that piece. Again, very simple but you can do an awful lot with a, with a simple piece.